Yes, I'm all from the squad members. You're right. Next up, we head to Jersey where we check out an amazing initiative called Elise Welam. Let's take a look. <laughs> Techno Squad, today we're visiting Digify, a really cool company which has partnered with Facebook to run an internet safety campaign for high schoolers all around South Africa. The campaign is called Lilies Alami, which means my world. You want to hear more about this campaign and maybe even come up with a good one. Let's go. Hi guys, uh, my name is Brian Mkunu and I am going to be chilling today with Kat and T and we are going to be learning about internet safety. Hi, my name is Brian Mkunu. Um, I am a um, facilitator at Digify, um, and I facilitate a program called Elizulam, which is focused on internet safety. So Digify, you know, aims to create and you know provide opportunities, you know, when it comes to digital skills uh, for young people um, across the continent, you know, basically um, to get them, you know to be exposed you know, to those skills, but then also job opportunities. Your digital presence uh, is basically your blueprint, right? So if somebody searches for you, they are going to see those things pop up. So let me just give you a, a description of, of digital presence, right? To say, this is what you are creating. This is the blueprint that you are, you are creating for yourself. So it is the mark that you leave online. So whatever you put out there is going to be there. It's really important to watch who you want to interact with and who is going to be on your social media platforms. Right? The most surprising I learned today was that with your online information, as you add more things to the internet, it will be tracked and people will be able to find it once they search your name. Uh, you need to avoid um, saving your passwords on your devices, right? So these are the tips, right? You need to protect them, right? You need to protect your passwords. I'm also proud to learn that you should actually read information before you click on and start playing games, like start betting on stuff. Like one time, I never knew, like it's supposed, it said 18 and above and I just pressed 18 and I started clicking stuff wrong. So you must be careful before you start clicking. So it's important that you pay attention to what it is that you put up online, what it is that you say to other people. There's a lot of bullying that takes place, you know, um, that takes place online. Ne? I don't know if you've heard that. Have you ever experienced that? Maybe somebody at school being bullied online? With photography and taking photos of each other, one person didn't really want their photo being taken. Yeah. So at some point someone shared it to people and it caused this whole drama of this was me and you shouldn't have sent this photo to people without my permission right. and that type of stuff. It is like for you guys to be responsible citizens and what it is that you can do to ensure that we are preventing things like the incident that happened at your school, right? I will definitely be more responsible with my photos and my information and who I trust and who I do not trust and who I ask to put photos out there or maybe ask people to put certain photos out there if they want to make a birthday status for me or something. Um, I would definitely ask them not to use these certain photos and to use these photos instead. Do you see the memes that we see um, these days and memes that people use? Yes. Memes, right? Those are people. It can be you tomorrow, it can be you tomorrow, it can be me tomorrow, it can be anybody else tomorrow, right? So once it goes onto the internet, you have no control of it. Uh, a digital citizen, but this is really important, right? Um, so what is, a digital, uh, what is digital citizenship? Being a di digital citizen means having fun on the, means having the online social skills to take part in online community, in the online community in a respectful manner. As a digital citizen, you need to express yourself by sharing and posting comments, images, and videos. I tell you some pledge to be a good online citizen. I make a take a pledge to be a good online citizen. My thoughts, my world, my internet. Bye. <laughs> Being a good digital citizen means you are able to be trustworthy to one person. You are able to be respectful to everyone around you and respectful to for yourself. You are able to, to be a good person like you would in real life, just more online. Wow, guys, we learned so much. I hope you did too. Be sure to check out the Use Lam campaign for more awesome tips on how to stay safe online. But right now, though, let's go back to the studio.